Hello, today I'm going to show you how to calculate the odds of winning first prize in lotto with a system nine entry. Now a standard entry is six numbers from 45 in Australian lotto, but, um, but with a system nine entry, then you get to play with uh, three extra numbers. You have three extra numbers um, in your coupon, um, when you have a system nine entry. So to uh, calculate the odds then, I've got this uh, template there of a uh, game coupon and I'm going to uh, randomly select nine numbers from this coupon and hopefully that will help you understand how the odds are calculated. So what I'll do is I'll just randomly mark off uh, nine of the numbers on this uh, entry coupon take 1 and 9 and 19, 29, 36, 39, 14, 7 and 23, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I've marked off uh, 9 numbers on this entry coupon. So what happens then is uh, when you're sitting there watching the, the draw with your coupon in front of you, and when the first number's drawn then out of the out of the barrel, out of the lotto barrel, then you've got nine chances. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You've got nine chances because you've got nine numbers there that you've marked on your coupon, and there's 45 numbers in the barrel. So you've got nine chances in 45 then of matching the first number that's drawn. And what I'll do then is with my uh, red Sharpie, I'll just randomly mark off one of those numbers to show that um, one of those numbers has actually been matched. Now when the second number's drawn then, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You've got eight unmatched, or unmarked and unmatched numbers on left on your coupon. But now one number's already come out of the barrel, so you've got 44 numbers left in the barrel. So you've got eight chances then in 44 of matching the second number that's drawn from the barrel. So I'll um, mark off one of those numbers to show that one of those numbers has actually been matched. I'm just ran marking them off randomly um, just to show you how the odds are calculated. Now in the, uh, the third numbers drawn then, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You've got seven numbers left on your coupon, seven numbers that haven't been matched. So you've got seven chances then in 43 because two numbers have already come out of the barrel. So you're left with uh, 43 numbers in the barrel. So you've got seven chances in 43 of matching the third number that's drawn. And once again, I'll mark off another one of those numbers to show that they have actually been matched with the, uh, with the winning number. Now when the fourth number's drawn then, you have one, two, three, four, five, six. You've got six chances then because you've got six unmatched numbers on your coupon, six chances in 42, there's 42 numbers left in the barrel, six chances in 42 of matching the fourth number that's drawn, and then I'll once again randomly mark off another number to show that they I have actually um, matched one, the uh, fourth number with the with actually the winning number that was drawn. And uh, then when the fifth number's drawn, you're left with one, two, three, four, five, you're left with five, unmatched and unmarked numbers on your coupon. There's 41 uh, barrels left, uh, 41 balls left in the barrel because four numbers have already been drawn. So you've got five chances in 41 of matching the fifth number that's drawn. And once again, I'll randomly mark off another number to show that, um, that that number has actually been matched. And when the final number's drawn, then you're left with one, two, three, four chances. Four chances in 40, there's 40 numbers left in the barrel. Four chances in 40 of matching the final number that's drawn. And then I'll once again randomly mark off a, another number to show that it has actually been matched. So now all you have to do then is um, to calculate the odds is start doing some multiplication. So first of all, I'll multiply across the top row uh, of those fractions and then I'll 
um, and multiply across the bottom row also of those uh, fractions to, to work out the odds. So first of all, it's going to be 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 is the first calculation and then it's 45 times 44 times 43 times 42 times 41 times 40 is the second calculation okay there's the, there's my uh, calculator and I'll start punching those numbers into the calculator um, turn it on 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 equals 60,480. Okay, and then multiply out the uh, the bottom row then. 45 times 44 times 43 times 42 times 41 times 40 equals this astronomical number of 5,864,443,200. So write that down, 5864443200. So the odds then are 60,480 chances in 5.8 billion, but what we want to do is express that as one chance in a certain number. So what I'll do then is uh, divide the top of that fraction by 60,480 and divide the bottom of that fraction by 60,480. And obviously 60,480 over 60,480 is equal to 1. So all you're really doing is dividing by 1, but you're simplifying that fraction. So then uh, 60,480 divided by 60,480 equals 1. And then the 5.8 billion number divided by 60,480, which is that bottom part of the calculation is one is ninety six thousand nine sixty five so therefore the odds of winning a lotto when it's um, nine numbers uh, from 45 then is one chance in ninety six thousand nine hundred and sixty five And to prove that's right then, I've got this uh, Lottery Systems in Australia printout from their website. Go on to the next page and it shows you the odds there. Uh, System 9, when it's a six number lotto, is uh, 96,965, which is the number that I've worked out on this sheet of paper. So there we go, that's the odds then of winning first prize in Lotto when you're using a System 9 entry is one chance in 96,965. Okay, well I hope you've enjoyed this video, thank you for watching and goodbye for now.